basically there are two aspects to Prof. Uh, Chandamula for presentation. One is that the empire is in decline. Clearly, there is evidence that uh, there are limits to American power are very, very evident. The second part is the transformation part. And I totally agree with the suggestion we have made. The only comment I wanted to make was this, that um, in our attempts at transformation and adopting the various uh, measures, we have to be realistic, uh, not to be too optimistic. Um, uh, when Vietnam, when America lost Vietnam, uh, many people thought that the empire had collapsed. Even at that time, too, uh, there was an empire. So there were different uh, dynamics. I know Russia was still there, China was coming up. Uh, but America for a while lay low, but it came up. Uh, now the same could happen again. You see, uh, uh, they may lie low for a while. The reason I fear that uh, is because some of the dynamics are still very much in place. Uh, George Bush is leaving an America in disgrace. Not he himself, his country actually is in uh, real disgrace. Uh, it has lost uh, uh, in its, its position as a world leader. Uh, it has lost respect. He's leaving the country in shambles. Nevertheless, the military industrial complex is very much in place. They have a vested interest in wars. Otherwise, how will they sell their weapons? Um, their commercial, sorry, their cultural <coughs> power is still very much there. Uh, TV, radio, the commercial power is still very much there. And sadly, Prof, there is also this element that we don't openly talk about. But you know, a lot of the people in Europe and America, uh, they feel that they have a cultural, religious reason to colonize us. The white man's burden uh, was because they genuinely believe that they have a truth to tell us. Uh, that we are the inferior, lesser civilization. And I think many of the reports that were written before Bush became president is very clear. That forget about uh, uh, equality and anti-colonialism. We have a job to do. We have a job to do to civilize the Middle East and let's go ahead and do it. And they did it. So I feel that these problems are still there, that there is that feeling of religious and cultural superiority. Uh, history is, doesn't move in linear motion. It moves in circles or perhaps sometimes spirals. Spirals. The spirals of history are there. So I will not be surprised if new alliances may emerge within Europe or within America. I personally um, feel that Germany is trying very hard to assert itself. And I want to say this to you, and I apologize if I hurt any feelings. Uh, from my interaction with lots of German organizations, they really have a feeling that destiny is on their side, that they will re-emerge. And many of them very educated. Some of them actually are heads of organizations operating here. But some of their comments, their views are so racist. So racist, you know, so patronizing. So I won't be surprised if new alliances emerge within Europe, um, whereby, you know, because of the economic benefits of domination, economic benefits of empire, um, we may have to face new alliances. That's all. Yeah.